the leadership qualities that you, you get out of it. Um, Reagan in class, the teacher tells me she has never met such a mature child, um, such a child that is able, willing to help each other. And I get those comments about Maddie recently. So I, I believe it's from, it's from the International Party Center. Yeah, well, you know, looking back on Holly's experience in, uh, in the karate, uh, the one thing that, that uh, sticks out now that didn't back then was the leadership skills that she had learned. And, and part of her uh, scholarship now to college is, was, was based on her, her uh, leadership experiences and, and skills that she had acquired. And uh, you, you don't think of it at the time because it's, it's happening all the time around you, but, but for a 10-year-old black belt to get out and lead a class uh, is, is an awesome experience and, and enabled to do that because when you're in the dojo, there's just such a uh, culture of uh, the, the black belt level, such a respect for people that have a, a higher black belt than you, even though they could be uh, uh, three, four, five, ten years younger than, than what the black belt is. And they're also uh, exhibiting the, the uh, skills that they have learned so that there's a, a, a great degree of confidence when they're up there uh, leading a class or, or uh, leading the warm-ups uh, because it's things that they, they, they truly know. So it's been a great experience and, and for her, uh, which I think has helped in a lot of the leadership activities that happen after karate, that uh, uh, have enabled her to, to uh, pursue and, and maintain the uh, uh, confidence that she has and, and the focus that, that she has uh, uh, going forward in things like school and other outside activities.